Hi, this is Halal. In this video on Mathematical Economics series, we will discuss about the bordered Hessian for constrained optimization. Suppose we are given a multivariable function f of x, y and uh, subject to the constraint that is g x, y is equal to k and we have to optimize this function. Since it is a multivariable function with a, uh, with a constraint, we say it is a constrained optimization. That is to, uh, to optimize this very uh, these very uh, multivariable functions with the constraint we have for another function now how is the new function formula first of all we this is called i will write here this is called objective function this is called the objective function and this is called the constraint this can be uh, anything like maximizing or sorry optimizing uh, utility function subject uh, to the budget line subject to the budget so this is the objective function and this is the constraint uh, constraint part now we have to form a new equation new function rather that is uh, first of all how uh, this new equation is formed first of all we set this constraint equal to zero so we set this constraint equal to zero so this is now setting this zero this will become k minus g of x y is equal to zero after that we multiply this very uh, function by lambda so i multiply it by lambda so i have actually discussed this all in the uh, optimization videos i am just recapping to relate it with this bordered hishan method so this is lambda times k minus g x y now we have to form a Lagrange's function. The Lagrange's function is formed by adding the objective function, this fxy, with this new term, which is formed by mm, uh, formed by multiplying this very uh, constraint with lambda. So our new function will be Lagrange's function is equal to, which is the addition of the uh, this objective function and the resulting constraint function. So this will become uh, f of x y plus uh, lambda times k minus g x y so this is our leverages function now the first order conditions for uh, this leverages function to be at optimum is that we take the first derivatives of this function with respect to x y and lambda that is first order condition is first order condition is that we partially differentiate this Lagrange's function with respect to x, y, and lambda. That is, uh, L x means partially differentiating this Lagrange's function with respect to x and set it equal to zero. Similarly, L y means partially differentiating this Lagrange's function with respect to y and set it also equal to zero. And L lambda partially differentiating this Lagrange's function with respect to lambda and set it also equal to zero. Now, when so, uh, we set them all equal to zero, uh, we get the optimal values of x, y, and lambda. So this is the first or, first order condition. This is the first order condition is nothing but uh, partially differentiating the Lagrange's function with respect to x, y, and lambda, and solving simultaneously to get the value of x, y, and lambda. So this was all about uh, the first order condition. Now. To be sure that these are the optimum values, we have to check the second order condition. Now, second order condition, uh, we have to check the second order condition. We can check it using the bordered Hisham method. That is, uh, this uh, to check the second order condition, we express we express uh, this system of equation uh, in bordered Hisham method. That is. Second order conditions can be expressed in bordered Hessian matrix. That is, second order conditions for second order conditions we form bordered bordered Hessian Hessian that is uh, denoted by this H bar, which is composed of which is composed of that is H uh, this bordered Hessian is composed that is i will write here first of all 
we take the second order partials of this Lagrange's function and we write here, uh, so I will write here fx x f y y f x y and sorry here is f x y and here it is y x I will write y x and y y so this uh, this plane Hessian is bordered by the partial derivatives of this constant function that is we border this with by g x g y here also g x g y and zero is on the principal diagonal so bordered Hessian is composed of all the second order partials of this Lagrange's function this is called the simple Hessian and it is bordered it is bordered by the first derivatives of the constant or oh, sorry constant equation that is the first derivative g of x gx means the partial derivative of x uh, uh, this equation similarly g of actually it is g of y here sorry for the mm, error here so we express uh, the second order condition in this bordered Hessian or we can write this also in this form that is we write here f x x f x y f y x and f y y here we have g x g y g x and g y and zero is on the principal diagonal so in either of the two ways we can express the uh, border Hessian border Hessian so this is composed of all the uh, second order partials of this Lagrange's function and the, these are bordered by the partial derivatives of the constant uh, constant function with zero on the principal diagonal uh, now to check the relative minimum or relative maximum what we will do first of all uh, we write the bordered bordered principal minor principal minor now the bordered principal minor is here which is denoted by h2 h2 is the bordered principal minor here which is also called the second bordered principal minor that is we take uh, this h is also equal to i will write here this h is equal to h2 so this h2 is composed of all these nine elements now if this h2 i will write if this h2 is if this h2 is uh, greater than or i will write here if it is less than zero if it is less than zero we say the bordered hessian matrix is dated bordered uh, hessian is positive definite we say hessian is hessian is positive definite definite and the positive definite bordered hessian satisfies the sufficient condition for relative minimum that is this uh, if this uh, I will write here bordered Hishan is called positive definite so here this actually like this bar and we say the relative relative We have the relative minimum. If this second bordered principal minor is less than zero, now this second bordered principal minor is composed of all these elements. Now, if we were uh, the H3 will come with when we have the four cross four bordered Hessian matrix. Since it is three cross three, three by three, we have H2. So it is not to be confused with that uh, that order of this uh, two denotes the order of this matrix this two denotes the order of this plane Hishan. 
So we uh, write this as second bordered principal minor. If second bordered principal minor is less than zero, bordered condition is positive definite, and this satisfies the sufficient condition for relative minimum. Similarly, if this second bordered, so I will write here also. Uh, if this second bordered principal minor is greater than zero, if the second bordered principal minor is greater than zero, that is the determinant of this uh, matrix is greater than zero, we say we have a positive, sorry, we have the negative definite bordered Hishan is bordered Hishan, Hishan that is H is negative definite, negative definite. And negative definite border Hishan satisfies the sufficient condition for relative relative maximum. So I will repeat here. We were given an objective uh, objective function and a constraint. When uh, when we are given a multivariable function with a constraint, we say we have a case of constrained optimization we have the multivariable function here and also the constraint so we have to uh, con this is the case of constraint optimization if we were only given a multivariable function at that time we use only the simple hessian method which i have covered in the earlier video when a multivariable function is given with a constraint we use the bordered hessian method that is so i will uh, just make sure when we are given uh, simply a multivariable function we use the hessian method that is hessian when only only multivariable function can be we use hessian and if we are given the multivariable function with constraint with constraint we use borrowed Bordered Hishan method. Hishan method. So since we are given here a multivariable function with a constant, we have to use the bordered Hishan method to check the second order condition for the optimum. Now, uh, as we have seen in the earlier uh, videos, how to construct the Leverage's function. So I have just recapped here. This is our objective function this is the constraint uh, constraint of this objective function first of all we set this constraint equal to zero and multiply it by lambda after that we form the Lagrange's function by adding objective function with the resulting constraint which is being uh, which, which was formed by multiplying lambda and setting it equal to zero so we write this function and we add up this to form the Lagrange's function. Now, if this is the Lagrange's function, uh, the first order condition is for the Lagrange's function to be at optimum is we take the partial derivative of this Lagrange's function with respect to x, y, and lambda and set them equal to zero. After setting them equal to zero, we solve them for x, y, and lambda. After that, we get the optimal values of x, y, and lambda. So, first order condition is used. Uh, to get the optimal values of x, y, and lambda. Now, to be sure that these are uh, actually optimized to see whether they are related to minimum or related to maximum, uh, we use the bordered Hishan method in case of constant optimization and plain Hishan, that is simple Hishan method in case of unconstrained un optimization. Okay, so first order conditions are met, the second order condition are checked by expressing or I can say that second order conditions can be expressed in the form of bordered Hishan that is denoted by this H here. So this uh, is composed of all the second order uh, second order partials of this Lagrange's function and these are bordered by these are actually bordered by the first derivative of the constraint and zero on the principal diagonal so this zero is on the principal diagonal or i can express this in this form okay after that 
def, uh, second uh, border principal minor second border principal minor we take the second border principal minor that is the second border principal minor is composed of all these actually this whole matrix is composed of this whole matrix that is h2 is composed of all these nine elements we take the determinant of this whole matrix via i will write here this h is equal to h2 this h2 is the second borrowed principal minor so we take this h2 which is here equal to h this uh, with the bar and if the determinant of this h2 is less than zero we have we say that the bordered fission is positive definite and a positive definite bordered fission satisfies the sufficient condition for relative minimum and if this h2 the determinant of this uh, bordered fission is uh, second principal minor is greater than zero we say that the bordered fission h is negative definite and a negative definite bordered fission satisfies the sufficient condition for let you maximum so uh, uh, in uh, we will solve a numerical and you will get it very clearly what is what i have discussed here so with a numerical it will get clear to you i hope you like this video thank you so for more videos on mathematical economics please subscribe our youtube channel econ maths also like comment and share if you like this video thank you